hate to be a bother, but could you get me some water? I would, but the sink's a lot farther than it looks. Oh, sure. You're an angel. My medicine makes me so thirsty. Well, I can't have that. Thanks. You must be new. Excuse me? No uniform. Oh, uh, I'm not a nurse. I, I just heard you call when I was out in the hallway looking at the paintings. Ah, uh, many faces of AIDS. I'd add mine to the list, but my days of close-ups are just about over. You going home soon? It's a nice way of putting it. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. So, so I don't live to collect social security. At least I won't end up in a trailer park in Florida. I'll take care. What's your name? Julia. Julia. That's a nice name. Soft, but regal. Thank you. I'm Paul. Hi, Paul. Hi. My family lives in the Quaker state, California. They don't get east much. If you're not in a hurry, you want to stay? Play a few hands of gin? I'd love to. Bad, your family's so far away. Guess if they were closer, they could visit you more often. Yeah. <laughs> Why well, lie about it? If my family lives across town, they wouldn't come and see me. Stigma, you know. My dad and I haven't spoken in years. My father's judgmental, too. The rest of my family's not better. As soon as they heard I had... AIDS. Well, it turns out they weren't much of a family after all. I'm sorry. Ah, not a total charity case. I still have a few friends left. And the people that work here are great. Bet you their favorite patient. Ah, flattery. Flattery will get you a complimentary tongue depressor. Can I come see you again? Okay. Only next time, take a number so you don't have to wait. I'll be back tomorrow. So soon? <laughs> I hope you're not one of those weird, obsessive types. No, not anymore. I have an appointment here, so I have to be here again. I tell you, we'll play poker, and uh, I'll bring some chips. I can't wait. Bye, Julia. Bye, Paul. And thank you. thing about AIDS. You never know what'll go wrong next. My problem du jour is breathing. Is there anything I can get you? Second chance? Hold the mail. Oh, you settle for a visit? <laughs> I'm having a pretty rotten day, too. 
And it could get a lot worse. Okay. Um, uh, 22 down. It's a, uh, seven-letter word, meaning of the wind. Aeolian. Very good. I'm on an oxygen roll. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see, that gave us the O in uh, 17 across. It's a, a six-letter word for Emma, who shops. Bovary. From Madame Bovary, the novel by Gustave Flaubert. It's incredible. Haven't missed one yet. Yes, but the guy who can slam a ball through a hoop makes the six o'clock news. Go figure. All right, there's only one left. Uh, 26 across. It's, um, uh-uh, in Moscow. Oh, I got it. Yet. <laughs> yeah, it fits. Go, Julia. <laughs> We're a pretty good team. The best. Thanks for indulging me. That light is hurting my eyes. I used to love to read. Paul, what did you do before you got sick? I was in graduate school. Two-thirds through my master's in molecular biology. I should have known you were a brainiac when you got aeolian, right? Being a brainiac didn't keep me from getting sick. I stayed in school as long as I could. Finally, I had to throw in the sheepskin. Man, that hurt. I loved learning. Always have. I remember back when my father acted like one. He used to help me with math and history, English lit. Mom helped out with science. School was a breeze. I made straight A's, honor roll, dean's list. That was my parents' pride and joy. So I called one day with bad news. Test tubes may break, but they don't break your heart the way people do. That's why I got into lab work. Decided to go for my PhD. I thought I would devote my life to finding a cure for AIDS. Now I'm dying from it. It's funny how you think it can happen to you. Until it does. experience oh I graduated high school barely I wanted to be a nurse my grades I could barely get into a school of fish <laughs> much less nursing school. stop laughing hurts I'm sorry <laughs> don't be it's worth a little discomfort to laugh again I want you to promise me you'll never give up. What do you mean? On school. Becoming a nurse. You still have plenty of time. Get your grades up. Make the cut. Time could be kind of limited soon. So? You study a little every day. I'll even help you. Bye. Biology's my thing, you know? Miss you. You'll have to leave now. Paul needs his rest. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Between jogging and tennis, I'm bushed. Come back tomorrow, okay? You better. Bring your books. 
If Henry Higgins can do it, so can I. Try not to forget. Bye, Paul. Bye. I hope your day gets better. Listen to disco. It's my secret shame. You're doing so much better. Ah, uh, yes. The last time you were here, I was a high-tech hostage. <laughs> Hooked up to oxygen monitors, you name it. What a comeback. AIDS <laughs> takes a holiday. I don't question it. I'm too busy having fun. You want to watch TV? Oprah just challenged Ricky to a grudge match, and Geraldo is the referee. You're making that up. <laughs> I can dream, can't I? <laughs> good to see you smile again. It's good to see you, period. I hope I haven't guilted you into spending time with me. Are you kidding? I love our visits. Oh, nurse, please get this woman a life. I have a life, thank you. Thanks to you, it's, it's getting better. How so? I realized I need to change the way I'm living. <laughs> All this from a few hands of gin and one lousy crossword puzzle? There's more than that. Do I guess are you going to tell me? Well, I have a confession to make. Uh, <clears throat> hand me the oxygen, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> this is serious. I, I, uh, I didn't exactly tell you the truth. Ah, uh, yes, I know you didn't know gin from old maid. Well, you know when I told you before that I, I was on my way to the car when you called for the nurse. What I didn't tell you is that I had just been tested for HIV. No. Julia, you're not. No, no. Came back negative. I'm glad. I wouldn't wish this on anybody. Well, it was four and a half months ago that... that I was exposed, so they want to test me again in six weeks. Don't worry. You'll be just fine. I know it. The liver produces a chemical substance that prevents blood from clotting inside the blood vessels. This anticoagulant is called A, glycogen, B, heparin, or C, fibrinogen. B, heparin. Ah, <laughs> that's it. Ah! You win the living room set. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know this stuff forwards and backwards. Ah, my body's not up to speed, but my brain still works. I may give Alex Trebek a run for the money yet. <laughs> You ought to make a habit of that. You are so beautiful when you smile. If I wasn't sick, and if I dated women, you'd never be lonely on Saturday nights. Oh, well. Next life. Paul. Yes. About the dating. Did you go out a lot before you got sick? Not really. I was too busy with school to be much of a party guy. Well, then how did you get AIDS? Somewhere along the way, someone who thought he was negative wasn't. The killer is that I found Mr. Wright just before I found out I was positive. You broke it off? No. I did. Why? Are you kidding? I couldn't put someone through this. Especially someone who loved me. My God was great. The best. I know he'd have stuck by me to the very end. But I couldn't ask him to put his life on hold like that. I didn't think it was fair for someone to give me their all when I could give them so little back. I know what you mean. failure. Paul is dead? I'm afraid so. I'm sorry. I didn't know. No one, no one told me. I... 
I didn't even leave my number in case somebody... happened so quick. Well, sometimes it does. Did you know him? You and Paul friends for a long time? No. No, I just met him a few weeks. I used to come and just talk and leave, you know. We were working together for studying biology. It was wonderful. He's one of the smartest, kindest people that I ever knew. And now it's dead. What were you studying biology for, Julia? No, that. I've always been interested in healing. You know, Paul was very smart and liked to keep his mind sharp. I know you're really busy, so. Oh. Thank you for listening. You're welcome. Well, look what we have here. You're Alma Flores, our new patient, aren't you? We have everything but blankets, notes. What? You want to help me get this young lady in bed? Miss Harris, she's barely said a word. Oh? What? Is there something wrong, dear? There you go. Are you in any pain? Is there something that you, we can do for you? I think she speaks Spanish. Aha. Habla Espanol. Hmm? Si. Alma is one of our transfer patients from the hospital wing. Her parents live way upstate. They come some evenings and all the weekends. Hola. Me llamo Julia. Ah. Este es un nuevo lugar. Diferente. Pero está bien. Mi amigo Pablo está también aquí. A él le gusta. My English is bad. Not as bad as my Spanish. <laughs> I'll be back, girl. My Spanish isn't perfect either. <laughs> I guess you're not going to be interested in hard crossword puzzles in English, huh? Crucigrama? No. <laughs> what do you like to... Um, ¿Qué te gusta leer? Um, de todo. Um, oh, romance novels. Yes. <laughs> A mí me gustan también. <laughs> Te traeré unas cuantas mañana. Do you like fashion magazines? Uh-huh. <laughs> no problem. And there are no worries here at the hospital either. No hay problema. Everyone here is very nice. Cross my heart. Okay. okay. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> 